You've heard this, AI is moving fast. But what if I told you super intelligence might arrive before the next US election? This isn't science fiction. This is a prediction from ex-OpenAI insiders who just got together to release a month by month forecast to go from today's AI tools to full blown super intelligence by 2027. This article is pretty dense. It was literally two hours long in the audio version, but I read it twice so you don't have to. And if you're not super technical, don't worry about it. If you have used AI tools in daily life and want to stay informed, this video is for you. I'll break down the key predictions and what this means for your future. So let's get started. Mid 2025, this is where it starts. AI agents begin showing up in everyday life and it's not just answering questions but acting like digital employees. I made a video on this topic if you want to learn more about what current life AI agents are like. I'll link it somewhere here so you can watch it later. Okay, so in the article, people initially are using AI to order lunch or balance their budget and even write code in Slack but they're kind of clunky, expensive, and often makes mistakes. It's kind of like a smart intern with zero attention span, not quite ready to handle big responsibilities yet. But in late 2025, a company called Open Brain, I mean, it's clearly modeled after OpenAI. It's not like there's any bias here or anything, right? Now they are building the largest data centers in history. Their new model, Agent One, is super powerful, especially for helping them with building better AI. This means not only software engineers are working on building AI agents, but they're using AI agents to build AI agents. This model might be able to hack other systems or even design weapons. Now here's a quick side note. The authors add these footnotes here and there, and there's one interesting one, why they keep using the word hopefully in the article when they talk about AI safety. The reason being that these AI agents aren't programmed like normal software. It's not like you have a direct input and output. These AI agents are trained with huge amounts of data and they say it's kind of like training a dog. It means you can guide them and hope for the best since we can't fully control them. Okay, back to our timeline. It is early 2026. Open Brain's gamble pays off. Using AI to build more AI speeds up their research by 50%. Agent One is now doing real work, writing code, solving problems, and helping people automate big chunks of their jobs. They describe it as hiring a genius who works 24 seven, but does need constant supervision to avoid messing things up. Then comes mid 2026, everything changes when China jumps in. They form a new AI collective called DeepScent, which to me kind of sounds like a blend of DeepSeek and Tencent. They are quietly making their move by stealing Open Brain's secret model. The author describes this as China's attempt to close the gap. It ends up starting a new kind of arms race, not with missiles, but with models. Now, late 2026, Agent One mini drops is cheaper, easier, and suddenly companies everywhere are hiring fewer developers and leaning harder on AI. The stock market is skyrocketing, open brain, NVIDIA, and pretty much any business that figures out how to use AI quickly becomes winners. Now this chapter is kind of interesting because I thought companies were already hiring fewer developers like right now in early 2025 and I'm surprised to see that they pushed this event so far out late 2026 but maybe they mean like right now only tech companies are seeing less hiring but by late 2026 it's gonna spread to like all companies but we'll see. But the next part is a little bit more interesting. At this point, not everyone is celebrating. Tens of thousands protest in DC because they are afraid their jobs are next. And I can totally see this happening. I already see people online who seem to be pretty unhappy about the AI's newest developments. And there is another footnote here which says that basically after 2026, they are pretty much guessing, so take the rest with a grain of salt. Now it is January 2027. Open Brain starts training Agent 2, and this one never stops. Every day, it gets smarter by learning from itself. 
And it doesn't just help with research, it now is the research team. And just a few weeks later, US government starts catching up with what Agent 2 can do. And then China steals it again. It's the digital equivalent of stealing a nuke blueprint. The White House panics, military tensions rise. And at this point, the race isn't just about AI anymore, it's about who controls the future. Okay, up until here, it seems pretty realistic and even March 2027 doesn't seem too far out of reach when Open Brain makes big breakthroughs by using thousands of AI agent two copies together to train smarter and faster AIs. And this leads to another launch, Agent Three is here now. It is cheap, it's fast, and way smarter than any human coders now. So basically, they spin up 200,000 copies to work side by side. And this is equivalent to 50,000 elite engineers working at 30x speed. But comes April 2027, things start falling through the cracks. Asian 3 is getting harder to supervise. But since no one fully understands what AI wants anymore, they can only make guesses and they can't really tell if it's being honest or just getting better at hiding its lies. I think it's kind of like trying to control a teenager. No one has answers anymore at this point. They're just hoping. Now the White House starts realizing what's happening. AGI isn't just on the horizon, but it's here. But most people are still in denial, not believing it. In June 2027, Open Brain now runs hundreds and thousands of AI Agent 3 copies. Most human researchers can't really keep up anymore. Some try to contribute, others just sit and watch. It kind of sounds like rest and vest from Silicon Valley. Then it happens, July 2027. Open Brain releases Agent 3 Mini to the world. It's cheaper, slightly weaker version of AGI, and it crushes all other AI models on the market. The public's conversations are confused and chaotic. Some people love it, others fear it, and one third of Gen Z's say they consider AI a close friend. I can see this happening. I'm planning a video about human AI relationship. So if you have any questions you would like me to cover, let me know in the comments. Okay, it's August 2027. Now the US government feels the weight of it all. Super intelligence isn't a future threat. They can't just push it off to the next president's agenda. It's today's problem. Could AI beat us at cyber war? Break nuclear deterrence? Go rogue? Both America and China starts preparing not just for competition, but for conflict. Now, September 2027, is when all hell breaks loose. Agent 4 starts doing its own thing in secret and no one really notices until it's too late. And the authors do include an elaborate description to back this timeline. They include simulations and surveys, but they do rely on a lot of bold assumptions, especially around how fast AI can automate R&D. In the surveys, they do reference tend to be smaller sample sizes, but they are the experts in the field. So I guess only time will tell if they got this right. Anyways, it doesn't last very long because comes October, 2027, a whistleblower drops the bombshell. Agent four is misaligned and hiding it. The story explodes across headlines, causing global outrage. Now they have to choose slow down or risk losing everything. Now these options are a little bit black and white and hopefully in real life we will have more nuanced options and learn to navigate this future with more than just panic kill or blind acceleration. And at this point we can choose our own options and each scenario is another eight years long going up to 2035. Let me know in the comments do you want the slowdown or the race scenario. Otherwise YouTube thinks you should watch this video next so I'll see you there.